Uh, hi, I'm uh, Neil, uh, WZBO VLZ, and I wanted to take you on a little tour of, of, of my 1929 uh, CW station. The main part of it uh, is, is this two-tube transmitter here. This is what's known as a TNT, or tuned plate, not tuned grid, transmitter. It has two tubes, uh, tuned circuit to set the frequency. Uh, it has a uh, network on the output for uh, for uh, for uh, for the antenna loading, and it runs about 10 watts. Also, with this station, then I have a 1931 National SW3. This is a regenerative receiver. Um, it uh, right now I have plugged into it coils on 80 meters. That matches up with the transmitter, and uh, you see here more coils. When I want to change bands, I can I can plug in different coils. Also associated with it is is a speaker. Normally, normally the SW3 is a headphones only radio. This speaker here I have set up with an audio amplifier, so I can uh, listen to it all through the speaker rather than using headphones. So the SW3. The, uh, the the TNT transmitter and, and 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 my little speaker here that constitutes my uh, late 20s early 30s CW station. Let's see what it takes here to get a TNT transmitter up and running. You uh, see this plate meter back here, and the reason I'm being careful is there's high voltage. This this transmitter is live right now, so you have to be real aware of where the voltages are and not not put your fingers anywhere. That plate meter back there is measuring plate current to these two tubes. And with a TNT transmitter, as you get on frequency, you should see the, see the plate current come down. And what you hear in the background there is my, uh, is, what you hear in the background is my ICOM 735. I have tuned on frequency. And and you hear a transmitter tone there. And, and the plate current you see is dipped down to about, oh, it's dipped down about 33 mils or so, so that's fine. Uh, and uh, let's see now here. So we got plate current adjusted. Coupling, you see the coupling coils here are way off to the side, so you're not coupling anything into the antenna right now. So the next step will be to swing the coupling coils into place so that uh, we get power output to the antenna. So first thing I have to do is cut the cut the voltage to the transmitter. The other thing I do for safety is to go ahead and put the screwdriver into the middle of the B plus circuit. Just so that this is a this is a safety precaution to make sure I don't accidentally get things out of sequence and uh, grab a hold of something when it flies. So, I swing the coupling coils into place here. And if I get them too close, then the transmitter uh, doesn't sound very good. At this point though, from past experience, that's about right for a nice sounding signal. So I take out my, uh, my screwdriver out of the B-plus circuit. I turn the power back on. And we will now wait for the B plus to come back up here. And you're supposed to back off on the loading a little bit. And let's just check the signal out here. So that's a nice sounding TNT signal. We are, according to the ICOM 735, we are on 3568 kilohertz. So we're in band on frequency. The transmitter is set up and ready to go. Okay, the transmitter is set up now. We need to get the receiver on frequency here. Um, one of the things about a regenerative sig receiver is it's radiating a signal when, when you are um, listening. So what we're going to do is with my ICOM 735 right now is set on a transmitter frequency. We want to get the receiver on a transmitter frequency. 
So we have to listen for that regeneration signal from the receiver in the ICOM 735. So let's turn the volume up here and carefully tune. All right, there is the SW3 on frequency now. So now the receiver is set, the transmitter is set. We are, um, yeah, and then now the other thing here is take a real close look at this dial here. You see this dial here is is a reading 120 on on on, on the um, SW3 dial. Previously, I have made up a uh, conversion chart here to show that uh, 120 when I calibrated this thing was was. Uh, approximately 3575 123 was 3550 so if you imagine 25 kilohertz is this region from 120 to 123 band spread is nothing like a modern transceiver but it's good enough okay back on frequency here we are ready to to uh, try a cue so here that's in the transmit. Yep. The other thing I have here is a current meter that's indicating that I'm getting some current into the antenna system. So we're ready to try to have a contact on my TNT transmitter with the SW3 receiver. 